Hello guys, good morning. It is 8.53 on Thursday, June 18th, but I'm not sure if I'm just gonna vlog today or combine a couple days, not totally sure. Um, but I just wanna start off by saying hi and good morning. I just ate a piece of chocolate from my jar. So if you don't know, Connor's mom made me this jar for deployment. So cute. And that is like what it looks like with over a month down. So exciting. Maybe it doesn't look like a huge dent to most people, but to me it does, because it was filled to the freaking tip top. Oh, I'm gonna grab a ketones pack. I don't know which one I wanna drink today. I also need to grab my vitamins. I've been really bad about taking them. I keep forgetting. That's the hard part about starting new habits, it's forgetting. So, got my vitamins. Let's see. <clears throat> do I want raspberry lemonade or mango? I'll do raspberry lemonade. Okay. We are headed downstairs. I'm gonna mix up my ketones. And then I have to drive over to the hospital and pick up my mom. Her car is in the shop, I guess. And I went on a run this morning. I felt pretty good. Um, I did have to stop and stretch a couple times my ankle just on my surgery site. Um, I have screws in my ankle and like I can see based on scars where the screws are. And for whatever reason, on top of those spots where the screws are, just like it's really tight and sore and like I can literally feel it swelling in my foot when I'm running, so maybe I shouldn't be running, but I am, and I'm enjoying it as long as I stop and stretch in between, which is like kind of defeating because I want to be going like longer without stopping, but I'm not stopping because I'm tired, I'm stopping because my feet hurt, so I guess that's good, and like my pace is getting better, so that's good, and then I did some sprints afterward, I actually did it through Open Fit, which was super fun, kind of just switching it up, um, but yeah, so I did that, Came home, just been waiting for my mom, and I figured I would start the vlog, so mix up my ketones, and I'll talk to you in a sec. Got my ketones all mixed up. I did raspberry lemonade. I tend to go like every other day switching up flavors, but the last few days I've just been in the mood for this one. So I'm gonna drink this on the way to the hospital. Be right back, days. It is now like 10 a.m. and my brother and I just ran to this liquor store up the road and got my dad a Father's Day gift. So we found this. It's, let's see, what even is it? Single malt scotch whiskey, which he loves scotch. And it's Game of Thrones edition. So we picked the Lannister one because my dad loves that like little imp dude in the show. We just finished watching the show like, what? A couple weeks ago? Yeah. A month ago? So yeah, that's his Father's Day gift. Now we're gonna head out. Welcome to today's vlog. I just got out of the shower, blow dried my hair. It's not all the way blow dried, but I have to leave soon, so it's like 90%. Um, but I'm just gonna throw on some makeup really quick. Before I do that, I wanted to show you this. I got this for Christmas this past year. Hopefully you can see it. It's the Clinique Take the Day Away Cleansing Balm. It's a makeup removing balm, and that's how much I've used. There's literally, like you can see, where it drips down, but the rest of it is full. So it's been like six months of using this and I haven't even used like half of it. So I just thought I would share because I literally just put it on my face to take, um, to just kind of wash my face, cleans it, clean it after my exercise I did this morning. And I thought if anyone's looking for a replacement for makeup wipes, check this bad boy out. I will link it down below. It's been amazing and it's lasted so long and it is a little bit pricey, but I feel like I was buying makeup wipes literally like all the time i was going through them so fast and a box of like the blue neutrogena sorry you can hear the birds um those blue neutrogena makeup wipes it's like nine to twelve bucks i feel like it just added up really quick so in the big scheme of things six months for that 
tap not even half of that we'll see how long it takes we need the whole thing probably like over a year it's well worth the price and it works so freaking well it's so easy you just put it literally like put a couple spots on your face and rub it around and then rinse it off with water and it's insane like all the makeup comes off so simple i freaking love it so anybody's looking i'll link it down below good morning it's about 8 a.m and i just got home um well i just got out of the shower i went i woke up at like five laid in bed to like 5 30 and then i um, got up got changed and went for a walk i did like three miles it took me like an hour i was going really slow i was literally just like strolling but it was so nice out it felt good out the birds were chirping it was really peaceful there was like no one around it was just super nice um so i did that and i took a shower and now i'm hurrying to get ready because i'm going with my mom to take my brother and his friend to football it's like an hour away so i thought it would be nice and ride in the car with her so just throwing on some makeup super fast hey guys so it's now 10 05 and my mom and i just dropped the boys off at football we ran to mcdonald's and got a coffee and now we are back at the park that they're at doing their football. We're just watching my mom's actually like, she just walked over to film them. <laughs> She's so cute. So we're just watching them kick the ball and they're gonna be hanging out here for like an hour and a half or two hours. I didn't realize we're gonna be here this long. I just thought it would be nice of me to ride with her so she wasn't alone because like, this is like, we're in Broomfield, which is like an hour or so roughly from our house kind of so i didn't want her to drive all the way by herself i mean obviously she'd have the boys but then she was gonna sit here during their practice alone but i didn't think their practice was two hours so i'm gonna be sitting here for a while i talked about this on my instagram this morning but it was funny because i woke up early at like 5 a.m because the other day connor was just feeling kind of bummed that he goes to bed at like noon our time and he just feels guilty that he only has like a couple hour window where we can talk otherwise he's sleeping or i'm sleeping and i was like dude like you can't feel guilty about that we'll just talk when we can like you can't change the time change obviously it is what it is but i told him i was like i'll wake up early so that we can talk for longer so that i'm not the one sleeping super late which i love waking up early if you guys have been here for a while then you know that i used to wake up at like 4 a.m all the time so waking up at five isn't like super new to me so i woke up at five and then he wasn't even able to text me till like 8 a.m <laughs> which is funny because he um was just like out working and didn't have service where he was or like wi-fi so it was just funny the fact that the one time i wake up early to um talk to him he couldn't talk so yeah it was just funny but we're just hanging out at football i'm chatting with connor a little bit i brought a book to read i am reading where the crawdads sing i don't know if i talked about it on here i talked about it on instagram which again if you don't follow me there you should because i do so much with youtube and like planning videos and q a's and all that stuff over there but i talked about it on instagram i just finished the book one of us is lying super good i bought the second book and while i was waiting for the second book to show up i got this one and i'm like that far in like down here so not that much but it is so good already i am addicted to it and it's raining and it's raining in the car um but another thing i want to talk to you about is if you don't follow me on instagram you should when you guys are seeing this this will be up saturday i am doing weekly giveaways and this saturday this week's weekly giveaway ends and i'm doing a gift card giveaway for dotty couture this is one of my pieces from them it's just a sweatshirt that i love they're a store that i've been shopping with since high school oh my gosh my battery's about to die but i do weekly giveaways i'm giving away a gift card to them and i have a discount code so you'll want to enter hello friends so it is now 3 20 and i am just heading out so we came back home my camera died while i was trying to talk to you guys about my weekly giveaway so i guess i'll just finish that up right now um what i was trying to say is that this week's weekly giveaway is a 25 dollars gift card due dotty couture they are my favorite boutique i've been buying clothes from them them dotty couture jane and um what's the other one dotty couture oh tj maxx duh dotty couture jane tj maxx that's really it um okay no yeah that's really it those are the only places that i buy clothes and so i've been shopping at dotty couture for forever they're amazing i love them so much they have the cutest stuff they actually that's where this sweatshirt that i'm wearing came from and yeah um a bunch of my clothes i've literally had for years i talked about this on my instagram but like a pair of overalls that i have multiple shirts that i have literally all of my clothes i've had for like two years 
and they're from them and I still wear them now and they're in great quality like great shape they're one of my favorite stores I have a discount code with them um, I'll put it right here and if you win the giveaway it's just even more discount that you would get off of a gift card they're already using so you'd save even more money so if you don't follow me on Instagram go follow me I have a whole highlight called weekly giveaways where I talk about it there and I just explain all the details basically all you have to do is like and comment on all my pictures from Saturday to Saturday or Sunday to Sunday whenever I post and just like them throughout the week I will warn you like the day before and tell you what exactly posts like which posts you need to like and comment on and you just go do that and you're entered to win you have to follow me and that's it super easy so for this week's it's a $25 gift card to that store because I absolutely love it and like I said I have a discount code so you could save even more money which is amazing My friend's dad was on her porch, so that was so funny. I didn't even know he was there until I like, heard him talking. Okay, um, so I just had some ketones actually mailed to my friend's house, three for me, so I just went and grabbed those, and I'm so excited because they, oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> they are blueberry acai flavored, and it's a seasonal summer flavor. They sell out literally within minutes, so I didn't think I was gonna get any. They came out a couple months ago, and it's kind of a thing that you never know when they're gonna re-release seasonal flavors. One time, it, sometimes it's like a one time only, and they're never seen again. They were just released, I think, last month, and I wasn't able to get any. They sold out so fast, so I was like, okay. This time when I saw them, I had to grab them. And I ran up to my friend's front door. Her dad was sitting out there, so hi, Maddie's dad, if for some reason you're seeing this. Um, he is actually the one you guys might have seen on my Instagram. He showed me this song called, well, Maddie, my friend, texted me and was like, so my dad heard this song today and it's cracking up. You have to listen to it. And it's called Abby. Basically, he's singing about like, like he doesn't like his ex-girlfriend anymore and he's gonna be with someone named Abby, A-B-B-Y. And A-B-B-Y stands for anybody but you, basically. It's so funny. It's just hilarious because I've literally never heard my name in a song and it's so weird hearing your name repeated that many times in a song. And it's just funny that he's saying like he's using it as an acronym for anybody but you. I thought it was funny. But um, as I was leaving her porch, he was like, hey, ABBY. And I knew he was referring to that song. So, yeah. Always good to see Mr. Murphy. But I am headed out right now. I'm actually going down south to base. Um, two of the wives that are wives of two of the guys that Connor's deployed with. We scheduled a dinner. So we're trying to do like regular maybe not even regular we're trying to do dinner like once a month or something just because like they have kids I mean I have my family but they're alone they have no one else here that they know so I don't know it's just deployment's freaking hard and it's really nice to have people to relate to and so it's I think it's important for us to get together and just check in and talk and like vent to each other because nobody else other than us can relate to what we're going through in this exact moment you know like not many people's husbands are currently deployed or like in the same place as they all are going through the same circumstances that they're going through. And so I think it's important for us to like stick together and be there for one another. So we're getting, we're having dinner tonight. Um, I think they ordered pizza to go. And as you guys know, I'm gluten free. So I got my own gluten free pizza. I already had one in the freezer. So I was like, perfect. I'll just bring my frozen pizza. And it was so funny. They were like, we all feel bad if we order pizza and you're eating frozen pizza. And I'm like, don't gluten-free pizza from like Papa John's and stuff it's delicious but it is expensive it's like $20 for a pizza like it's a lot and it's a small pizza too it's not even a medium it's like a little bit bigger than a personal sized so I'd much rather just get a frozen one I think they're just as good so I grabbed one from Quest um, I've had it for a while I've been meaning to eat it so I brought that and then I brought myself a gluten-free muffin and I'm gonna get off the camera because I need to start like I need to get on the highway and I shouldn't be walking on the highway so I'm gonna drive down there and I think I'm gonna be there early so before like either of them get to the house that we're going to so I will chat with you guys when I get there I think I'm gonna do try and do some of the deployment Q&A when I get there and just like park outside my friend's house and answer some questions while I wait for them to show up so I'll see you in a few as soon as we get to base